To begin the Western blot workflow, I will start with unboxing the gel electrophoresis system. Here we have the Excel Sherlock gel apparatus. Here's the manual with detailed instructions on what is included and how to use the system. Here is the lid of the gel apparatus system. Right? Here is the actual gel box. And inside you have the buffer core. You have a dummy gel cassette. This is the gel locking system. And here is the box itself. Um, let's begin by assembling the gel rig. So you start with the buffer core. You can run up to two gels at a time. So um, if you want to run just one gel, you can use the dummy cassette that comes with the shore lock. And then you would hold your, uh, put your gel on the other side and put the whole thing in the gel box like that. And to hold this in place, we have um, a locking system and that goes in right here and you lock it in like that. We have the new page gels. Um, these come in either the Bistris, as the ones I'm showing you here, Tris Acetate or the Tris Glycine gels. Um, these are really great gels. They're stable at room temperature for over a year. They give you beautiful results. Uh, you can get publication quality images every single time. So I've opened the box here, and uh, while you can get the full manual with all the detailed instructions online, um, the gels actually come, uh, do come with a quick reference card. Uh, so this is for experienced users, and it's just a brief reminder of how uh, the protocol works. Um, so you get about 10 gels in a box, and each is encased in a uh, plastic packaging, which you would cut open um, to get the gel out. So we have the gels then. And um, you will also need a protein standard. Um, and this is a really lovely product here. This is the Novex Sharp Pre-Stained Protein Standard. It gives you beautiful bands um, and a nice wide range of molecular weights. Each box of Novex Sharp standards comes with two tubes. And uh, this is good for 50 gels. Um, so that's quite a bit. Um, and you have a little instruction card here in the box. Um, that gives you information about the standard and how to use it and how to store it. In order to run the gels, you'll also need a running buffer. And uh, so it comes with a choice of MOPS buffer, MES buffer, which I don't have here with me today, and also a Tris glycine buffer for the Tris glycine gels. We will also need an um, antioxidant and a sample reducing agent. Um, so the sample reducing agent is uh, actually LDS and it comes in a 10x concentration, so you'll need to dilute that. And uh, it also comes with an antioxidant. So um, this is something you will need to add to the inner tank when you run the gel, just a small amount, about 500 microliters. And um, this will give you beautiful results um, on your gels. So today I've picked a new page Bistris gel. So I've made a uh, 1x solution of the new page MES uh, buffer. So I have at least 200 ml of running buffer in the upper chamber and at least 600 ml of running buffer in the lower chamber. I'm going to begin by adding the antioxidant. So about 500 microliters into the upper chamber. There we go, mix it in really well. I have the Novex Sharp protein standards, and you need about 5 to 10 microliters per lane. So let's load some of that. And then I'll load uh, my samples in the other lanes. Get the lid on top, plug this into the power supply, and hit go. Now that we've finished running the gel, we can transfer the proteins to a membrane using the iBlot dry blotting system.